Hello, good afternoon everybody. We're down at camp again. It's Thursday afternoon, bit of an early one this. Paul's got to be somewhere later, so we've come down early. Yeah, plan of action today, we're going to get fire up and go, get some brews up and go, I'm going to crack on with this roof. This is what we did last week, it's held up quite nicely actually. What we're going to do is we're going to take all that off, and we've got some chicken wire, we're going to wrap it all the way around the roof and then throw the leaves back on. Hopefully cover a bit more of this underneath as well. You see something in the post today. Load more paracord. So Sky, Lewis if you're watching, I saw out your bracelets and your zip pulls. So we've got fire up go, we've got brews. Uh, we've just had a chat. So what we're gonna do is before we start roof, if we get a chance, we're gonna finish this gable end off at log cabin, get some logs, put it all built up there. Uh, do a bit of camp maintenance as well. I'm going to get rid of this bar across here. People keep headbutting it. I think it's time to go. I think what I'm going to do is I'll support it on this corner, get it proper tied off onto a tree, cut bar off, get it supported under there, and then that'll save people's heads. <laughs> we can have walk without banging your head. <laughs> and that's it, that's all we've done there. Hammered into a tree there, tied it off, couple of nails through that, cut off, tied off down there. And we now we won't bang his heads. We've got ourselves some decent wood as well. So I'm just filling up the gaps in the walls with all these pine cones that I've got. I'd like to see where I got them from. Um, I believe we can go to our pine cone enthusiast, John, who's uh, out collecting some. John, are you there? Hi John, yes, thank you. I'm here at the junction of the M62. As you can see, there's plenty of pine cones to pick up. Uh, this is where we've been getting them from, for the log cabin. Uh, so yeah, I see you hard at work there, John. Back to you, mate. See you later. Yep, thanks John, thank you very much. Uh, so now you've seen where we get the pine cones from. I'm just putting these on so it'll, it'll fill the gaps and also it'll give something for the uh, clay to fix onto. Well, this is what I've been doing for the last 45 minutes or so. Just been filling all these gaps with pine cones. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, there's a couple of gaps, but the pine cones won't fit in there. I'm a bit of fill it with the clay anyway. I think I'll just push a few more in. I'll just take you inside, show you what we're like in here. That's made a big difference. Like I said, I'm not bothered about those little gaps that I left because it will get covered in clay. So I've got to think about the front here, also doing this side. I think I'll probably do this side next, but I won't have enough pine cones left. I'll have to go and get some more at some point.
Well, I've been putting the pine cones on the wall. Paul Smith starting here at the front. Just going to attach them with paracord all the way up here. Cut them, cut them to the correct size on either side. Right, uh, Paul's having the head off now, but we're going to go and uh, find a stone that we're going to use for the uh, half of the fire because we realise that we're going to need a bigger one. We've seen one, so we're going to go and try and get all of it. So, yeah, I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, this is the stone I was telling you about that we'll come for. But it's so heavy, it's so waterlogged. We've all just managed to get it out of where it was. So, I'm going to leave it here for next time, let it dry. We brought some logs up as well, so we're going to put it on there and carry it back to camp. Oh, it's massive. It's just a huge slab of Yorkshire stone. Pulled out of the ground. It could stay in my hands, man. It's covered in clay. Just heading back into camp now. Paul's had to go and take car home, but I think he's going to come back down. So it should be about another hour or so, I reckon. So I'm going to get back, wash these filthy hands, get that fire stoked up, get a brew up go. I'll probably continue putting pine cones in the other wall. Or maybe carry on with the front where Paul started. But definitely need a brew first. So again, on this side, I'm doing shoving pine cones right into these gaps. Doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it fills up. Like I say, <laughs> don't have to be perfect, just falls out. Mind my uh, DPM carrier bag there. I know you can't see it and you're wondering where I'm pulling all these pine cones from, but believe me, it's a carrier bag. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on with this and I'll bring you back as we progress. Check that out. A slug hanging from a web. I believe it's a web. You can just see it shining as I go up. Boing! That's Scott. Scott the Strider, he hangs around here quite a bit. I told him not to, but I think he likes his home. You won't be staring in there when someone sleeps in there, laddie. Well, you can't beat it, can you, really? Got a nice big fire, cup of tea. After I've had this, I'm going to crack back on putting the pine cones, what, what, what I've got left of them, put them in that other side wall. I'm going to have to pick up some more, I think. Well, I know I'm going to have to. It's spitting a bit as well. I haven't got anywhere near enough pine cones to finish this wall today. So I'm just getting the main bits what I can. Under there for instance. Almost out of pine cones now. I've just picked these up from uh, what's fallen inside, and all, all the pine needles that I had in the uh, bag. 
I've just shoved in here as well, just to pack it out a bit. Might be easier actually doing that bit on the inside when I get more pine cones. That's it, I'm all out of pine cones. So this is what I've done on this side. You see where I just put them in, I didn't have many left. So I've just put in the most important places, the bigger gaps. Like I said, I've put pine needles in as well that I had in the bag. Start going over there. I think these bigger gaps here are probably the best, especially the second and third log, probably the best doing in the inside. I need to get some more yet, so yeah, nice. I'm uh, just chilling in the log cabin, I'm having a brew, just having a look, thinking about what's going on, what I can see going on in here, see happening. Definitely a raised bed where I am at the moment, I'll probably put another one on the other side as well, that I'll give seating for, for about six people I'd have thought, comfortably. Two sleeping comf very comfortably. Yeah. Right, I've just secured this log on here. That's not been used, I've nailed it on. It's nailed in there on the side and around the back as well. It's been nailed in. So it's held on pretty pretty securely now. This one's good, this one's on. It didn't have to be awesome this bit because I'm thinking I might not even have to bother chinking it. Just put pine cones in the gaps. It's, not, it's, un, it's under cover there, so it's it's not going really to get attacked by water, I hope, so. Right, as you can see what I've been doing here, I've been getting this stake of wood, making a bit of an edge on either side. <laughs> that didn't mean to happen. But yeah, we're putting that on there, just to let this pack out a bit, so we've got something else to tie on there. So I'll show you what I mean. like that so it's all pulled up and I can tie that round there pulling it tight onto here and onto there I'm going to tie this one off as well can use Canadian gem knot I believe that's what it's called I'm not, not an expert on knots at all so I believe Nice and tight as that.
Right, I'm going to call it a day for today. I don't think Paul's coming back down. Not to worry. I've done what I can. Like I said, just thought we'd mix it up a bit because we've been doing roof for so long, so I thought do the jobs that needed doing. Right, I'll give you a walk around. So earlier today I went to collect these pine cones so I could put in the gaps between these logs. This is a few little gaps I could do with filling up. I'm not bothered about that top one right up there because that's uh, well on the top, there's going to be no water or anything coming from there. All down here as well. I'll show you on the other side. I didn't have so many left when I got onto here. But I started with the most important parts, the bigger gaps. Up here, I did uh, around the window as well, under the windowsill. Started off over there as well. Up there, and over here. I'll have to go and collect some more at some point. While I was putting the pine cones in the side walls, Paul made a start on the front gable end. He got this support post here, the big thick one that used to be supporting the, the branch behind me. I'll show you in a second. Put that on there. It's tied it on a little bit, but I've nailed it in now, so that's secure. And we've tied this on here. And I've shown you the uh, little chocks that we've put at the back of it as well, just to bulk it up a bit. So I'm not happy with that there, I'm going to have to change it. I, I thought I might um, tie two in at a time, but I think I'm just going to do uh, one branch at a time, like that side. Just looks a bit tidier. But like I said, we're not going to be um, putting any clay on this front, because it's totally protected by the front here. It's really dry and there's no water at all, so we'll leave that. Probably fill it with pine cones, like I said before. Also, did a bit of camp maintenance today as well. This bar here, this dreaded bar, that's been going across there, that I put there. Probably, I think that was the first one I put on when I first came and start the uh, building march. You can see where the log's being tied up against there. But yeah, we tied it off, hammered it into the tree, and now we can move. No one's going to bang the red. Just nailed a stake in there, tied it on. As I've shown you before, it's tied off down there. That's so much better, that. Feels like there's more room, which is weird, because it was only a branch. Sound. Right, this is me. I'm heading out. Ah, not a bad productive day really. Thought I'd mix it up a bit rather than just doing roof all the time. We've done that for the last uh, two or three weeks. So did other jobs that needed doing. Glad that bar's gone. Not gonna bump my head again. Or anyone else for that matter. People have been saying it for months. <laughs> so anyway, thanks once again to my new subscribers. It means a lot, thanks for all your support. For those that are just stopping by, hit subscribe and the notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload. I upload every Thursday, Thursday night usually. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to see you again very soon. Take care everybody. Bye bye then. <laughs>